As an example, we will now consider the simple cubic lattice which has its nearest neighbors at plus minus a zero 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 plus minus a zero and zero zero plus minus a. So if we remember our um, tight binding uh, expression for the uh, band structure, we have two versions. There is the version which is e zero plus four gamma sine square k a over two and es minus beta minus 2 gamma cosine ka and these all came from the summation of e to the i k dot r j for j equals minus 1 and j equals plus 1. So uh, if this is not a one dimensional situation like here then we have to add up uh, cosine kx a plus cosine ky a plus cosine kz a and if we use the other version, we have E0 plus 4 gamma sine square kx a over 2, sine square ky a over 2, sine square kz a over 2. So it was just uh, k dot r, remember. So it's k dot rj. So uh, this basically tells us, for example, if we are to travel in the 1, 0, 0 direction, kx is 1, ky and kz are 0, that would give us... Uh, for k uh, in the 1 0 0 direction for kx is equal to uh, pi over a this would give us a 1 so that would be e0 plus 4 gamma so you would see that the uh, the bandwidth would be equal to 4 gamma in this direction however if we are in the 1 1 1 direction so uh, then we would have um, for the k value square root 3 pi over a so we would get a contribution uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 from these sine squares uh, and that would give us uh, 3 so 12 gamma for the uh, width of the band here so we see that an atomic level broadens into a band as a result of the interaction between the atoms in the solid and each atomic level leads to its own band. So this is what we have done for the S orbital, but this will be true for all atomic levels. They will all form bands. Now, as an exercise here, I give you the uh, epsilon K dispersion relation in the tight binding approximation for body centered cubic lattice with eight nearest neighbors. It is ES minus beta minus eight gamma cosine one half KXA cosine one half KYA cosine one half KZA. So you can show this or FCC with 12 nearest neighbors. It's ES minus beta minus four gamma cosine one half KXA cosine one half KYA plus cosine one half KXA cosine 1 half kza plus cosine 1 half kya cosine 1 half kza okay so for here let's consider another example a two-dimensional square lattice which is monatomic it has a one atom basis obtain the expression and draw the corresponding constant energy contours using tight binding approximation now simple cubic lattice uh, energy dispersion relation es minus beta minus 2 gamma cosine kx a plus cosine ky a plus cosine kz a and this is for simple cubic lattice now we have two dimensional square lattice so kz is equal to zero so we have this reduced to es minus beta minus 2 gamma parentheses cosine kx a plus cosine ky a so we want to know the constant energy contours. So this, if this is a constant energy E, then e, we will have uh, ES minus beta minus this constant energy E divided by 2 gamma equal to cosine KXA plus cosine KYA. So we're uh, basically calling this constant energy E. So we have to draw this in the first brilliant zone. What is cosine KXA plus cosine KYA is equal to a constant. Now, if these k values are small, we can use the Taylor's expansion and we can replace cosine kxa with 1 minus kx square a square over 2 and cosine kya with 1 minus ky square a square over 2. This is equal to a constant, es minus beta minus e over 2 gamma. So uh, we have, in total, if we multiply uh, both sides by uh, a factor of uh, 2 here, we're going to have uh, 4 over a square, uh, and I'm also 
dividing it by a square, so 2 divided by a square, that gives us 4 over a square minus kx square minus ky square is equal to uh, es minus beta minus e, 2 gamma a square will become gamma a square because the 2s will cancel. So this will give me kx square plus ky square is equal to 4 over a square minus es minus beta minus e over gamma a square, which is a constant. That's the equation of a circle. So for small k values, I find that I'm going to get a circle in the first brilliant zone. So this is what I will get. And for kx equals ky equals to uh, 0, what should be the energy? The energy should be es minus beta minus 4 gamma. That's at the near, uh, bottom of the band. Now, as epsilon increases, the energy increases, Ka uh, much less than 1 uh, relationship will no longer be valid. Uh, and basically, I can see that this will be until uh, the energy is equal to uh, Es minus uh, beta. So, uh, when is the energy equal to Es minus beta? So, the energy is increasing from... Uh, es minus beta minus 4 gamma to Es minus beta. And when energy is equal to Es minus beta, I have cosine Kx plus cosine Ky, uh, cosine Kxa plus cosine Kya equals to 0. So this will give me Kxa is equal to plus or minus Kya plus or minus pi. So this is basically a square uh, with uh, the corners plus or minus pi over a zero and zero plus or minus pi over a. So that's this square here. Uh, you can see uh, it's uh, basically this uh, the largest uh, square that I have drawn here. So it, in the middle, I have this uh, circle. Then it turns into a square uh, at this uh, extremo. Now beyond this, I'm going to have basically uh, the uh, block electron situation where the constant energy surfaces uh, should uh, cross the brilliant zone uh, perpendicular. So I'm going to have these circular arcs. So basically what I'm doing here is solving cosine kxa plus cosine kya is equal to a constant for k values in the first brilliant zone. kx must be in between plus or minus pi over a and ky must be in between plus or minus pi over a. So solving this equation for this, I obtain the uh, constant energy surfaces in the first brilliant zone, as you can see here. So this can be done for all types of uh, tight binding uh, orbitals. So uh, we have gone through an example for the tight binding appro uh, approximation. We use the um, energy dispersion relation uh, for the s orbital, es minus beta minus 2 gamma cosine kxa, the sum of cosines, uh, or uh, we can use E0 plus 4 gamma sum of sine squares, but here we have cosine k dot r, k dot rj, so for j equals minus 1 and j equals plus 1, it was for the uh, one-dimensional case. So here I have to consider all uh, nearest neighbors, and the nearest neighbors are here. So basically I'm concentrating at the atom at the origin and looking at its nearest neighbors. Uh, so for each of them, uh, I have to consider uh, this situation. And uh, basically, uh, if I look at uh, this uh, in the, when the k is in the 1, 0, 0 direction or 1, 1, 1 direction, I see that I'm getting a different uh, band structure. I have left you as an exercise BCC and FCC cases, and then we have gone through two-dimensional square lattice constant energy surfaces, and where we can calculate them in the tight binding approximation uh, by setting the, uh, the total energy uh, as a function of k to be a constant, and that gave us uh, the equation of a circle for small k values, a square for large k values, uh, and uh, basically, that, that's one extreme, and we obtain uh, this uh, final result for constant energy surfaces uh, for this situation.